In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start building a strong online presence. Okay, so you're just on my computer now, and over the next seven days, I'm going to be showing you a load of tools that you can use to improve your online presence. And the majority of the tools that I use are inside the Builderall platform. So if you want to get a seven day free trial from the Builderall platform, click the link below and you can get started. You can do the majority of the things that I'm going to show you on the seven day free trial. I think everything except connect the domains and play with the domains. But everything else you can do completely on the seven day free trial and follow along over the next seven days. So I've created a brand new Builder All account, paid for account, to show you exactly how to set up a brand new account. So we're going to go into the account now. The first thing you want to do is get the mailing boss autoresponder set up. That is an integral part of any online business's email marketing, and it also helps integrate with the builders and everything else like that. So this is the first thing you want to do before anything. So when you first access mailing boss, you're going to get this welcome message pop up where you enter your name, your last name and all your details, which is going to be sent out at the end uh, of every email at the bottom of every email to apply with uh, can spam laws. So if you fill this out, um, get your domains. If you haven't got a domain yet, you can either buy one through the Builder All platform or you can buy one through Name Silo. I've used Name Silo for a long time. There's plenty more. There's GoDaddy. There's all sorts. But I've used Name Silo for a long time. So I've just bought this one, 7 dayBuilderChallengecom So I'm going to come back to Mailing Boss here and put in the name of my website. And the default sending address and reply to needs to be a domain. So you don't want to have your Gmail or Yahoo email in here because it will make everything go to spam. So I'm going to put hello at 7daybuilderchallenge.com. And next. And really simple, really quick to get set up. That's all set up now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my domain set up inside Builder All Dashboard. So I'm going to come to Builders my sites because i haven't got any sites here it's going to show you the templates that are available so i'm going to come to edit here and i'm just going to save this when it pops up so i can get the name servers to put into the new domain So now that's saved, I can come back into my sites. And there's the site that we just created. So now I'm going to come here and connect domain and paste in my name, 7daybuilderchallenge.com, set it to everywhere because we're worldwide. I don't think it likes the cap, so I'm going to type that in. Yep, it doesn't like the caps. So this is where you can buy your domain as well if you haven't got an external provider. So it just does everything automatically. So if you're external, this is going to pop up and you're going to need to copy these two name servers here. Make sure you don't copy any spaces before or after because it will uh, mess it up. So I'm going to delete the ones from here. And then I'm going to paste in the ones from Builderall. And then hit submit. So it's usually pretty quick to get this changed over. Um, it can take up to 48 hours. But once you've done that, just click I got it. Let me connect the domain. So it's going to show up here, but it can take up to 48 hours for everything to propagate properly. And then when you're ready to test it, you can click publish. And then that will be live. You'll be able to click on that and check when it's working. So if we click now, it's not going to be working now because it's literally been 10 seconds. It will just 
keep trying to load it and then say it can't reach it there we go can't be reached so sometimes it takes half an hour sometimes it takes two hours uh, and rarely it takes up to 48 hours so now that's set up we're going to add the domain inside mailing boss so we're going to come to domains over here and then create new and oh, i haven't got that copied anymore seven day builderchallenge.com save changes and you don't need to worry about any of this this is all going to be done automatically um, once it propagates within the next 48 hours so um, after 48 hours just click verify DNS records and everything will be verified properly the next thing we need to do if we come back into domains we can enable SSL so when that's uh, done that will process the SSL and what that allows us to do is to access our webmail so another awesome thing you can do in Builderall is you can actually receive email to your domain as well as uh, send through the autoresponder so to do that we're going to come back through here and we're going to click on the emails icon here and we're going to add email and I think I set it to hello at seven day builder challenge and add so now we've got that available you can add as many as, as you want support info uh, whatever anything at seven day builder challenge or anything at your domain so when the SSL is um, propagated which it won't be yet which we just activated you're going to be able to come here and log in to your mail so once that's done that's pretty much all there is to getting your account fully set up um, you've got your domain you've got your emails and people can send emails to that email that you set up and once the propagation's done and everything's set up in mailing boss you'll be able to send out emails as well so that's it for day one simple getting your account set up your domain set up and tomorrow we're going to be going over how to get your website set up hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one